the best thing that can ever happen to a kid. I achieved things that I didn't dream of achieving. This is absolute perfection. Liverpool are European champion. This is my life. Hello YouTube, what is up guys, it's George LFC here and as you can see on your screen right now with that fantastic walkout animation it is prime Steven Gerrard moments that is right, we have finally gotten ourselves the moments DVG through using his baby icon, through using his middle icon and now to the prime ever since I saw him be announced as a icon, I just wanted to use one card, and as I just said, we have used now all three of them, and it is so good as being a Liverpool supporter and loving Stevie. So, yeah, so we have gone and unlocked him, and now the road to glory is back. We're going to try to make the best team possible through Team of the Season, as Team of the Season is here, and basically um, just bring out weekly episodes. So, what I want to do, as I just said, is Bring weekly episodes of full champs gameplay, bit of rivals gameplay, and then rewards at the end, and to show you guys how I have improved the team. So it's going to be a weekly episode, probably around 16 minutes to say around 20ish, depending on how much gameplay I put in and how many packs I do have. So it's just going to be a weekly recap every week of who I have um, packed, who I've brought into the team, and some and some gameplay. So that is what's going to be happening. So yeah, basically, team of the season, most consistent team of the season, EPL, team of the season, La Liga, blah, 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 blah. So we've got around two months worth of episodes, so around eight more episodes to the end of team of the season. And then we've got foot, um, footies, the footies, the, the pink cards, which I think they will do as always, which gets the community involved. So yeah, as you can see, guys, this Gerard card, look, look at the stats everywhere. From his physical, 92 stamina, which you know, the stamina is my favourite of stats out of all stats. 92 stamina, fantastic. Then you look at his dribbling, and he's got 88 composure, 87 dribbling, 93 ball control, 89 reaction. So he is going to feel good on the ball. Then you got his passing stats, just phenomenal, scintillating, absolutely scintillating. From his passing, to his vision, to his crossing, fantastic. Shooting is what you expect. 98 long shots, I don't know why it's not 99, but fair, and just fantastic all around. As you can see, this one is because of the FA Cup display, and basically it's overturning the West Ham in the FA Cup final, which if you've ever seen that final, I remember as I was a kid, just coming off of Istanbul, you get to the FA Cup final, I remember watching us go down to West Ham, like, oh my god, here we go, and drive, pull us up, and then... Us can see it again through probably the most AIDS way possible. It was like a proper FIFA game. And then Gerard legitimately sending it from 40 yards through minuscule gaps to just hit the back of the net. It was just probably one of his best displays in that red shirt. So yes, um, Stevie, this is a moments card that he did deserve. Also Istanbul, which he did score that header, but I think this game, if there was ever a game... That he showed his worth 100% in this FA Cup game. So we are going to smack an engine on him for now. Just to upgrade his pace, dribbling and passing. Because we are going to start to use him as a cam. And in these uh, gameplay footages, you are going to see him playing as the cam. And I put emphasis on the cam because I don't really think he is a cam. In real life, he's a cam. But on FIFA... You need someone nimble, and you need the four-star skills. You need your cam to be able to do that OP La Croqueta. Without a La Croqueta in your attacking half, your your play is useless. How are you gonna? How are you gonna have any chance of going past the team of the year Van Dijk or team of the year Varane? You got no chance. The only chance is a La Croqueta. But Stevie doesn't have that. What Stevie does have is passing. What he does have is the best shooting you probably can imagine. <laughs> So he has that positives of being a cam. However, what I came to think was, why not we drop him? Drop him to be that CDM. 
So, I have a couple of decisions to make. We've got Raikar, we've got Makalele. Two fantastic, fantastic, just brilliant plays. Makalele is better Kante. He just has that legend cheese. So, he is better than Kante. Um, I've used Kante and I can guarantee you, just the, the middle of Makalele, I can only imagine what the prime is. He's better than Kante. That's full stop. Raikar, he is the cheap Vieira. He knows everything Vieira does. The cheap one. So it's going to be hard. Who do I demote for Gerard? And I have a feeling it is going to be Rijkaard. Um, only fact is I want a little nippy nippy player around to just hassle. And I think that's going to be Makalele. And then i got the class and the playmaking ability in Gerard. So I think that's what's going to happen after. Uh, sorry, next um, weekend league. And let's just look at this cheese goal from Pavel Nedved. Just carrying it the whole way. And then chipping the higher, he is outstanding. But yeah, so currently we are playing him as Cam, and I just it was just so clunky. My attack wasn't fluent because I passed it to him, and then I got no skill moves. I literally just got to try to turn and shoot. You know what I mean? So that is what I've come into the conclusion. If you think I've used him as Cam, try him for a couple games, but no, I think once I move him to a CDM. I think then we are going to see the true power of this prime card because the reviews of him is amazing. And and I can see when he drops down a bit and when he does intercept the balls and, balls and stuff, he does have some you know, defensive abilities. So you mix that with his pace, which is 90 with a hunter, if I, uh, sorry, with a shadow if I smack it on. And then with his passing ability, you know, I just don't see why he cannot be a great CDM for us. You're going to see a fantastic free kick from him right there. And he bags a great goal. So, yeah, currently I'm going to use him as a cam in this weekend. Uh, I didn't play all the games because I just simply didn't have enough time. And servers were down and stuff. When I did have time, the servers were down. So, when I wanted to play, I couldn't play. And EA has realized this and they've extended it. Then I've had uni, so I can't play on the extended. But they've given it. But they have given everyone 2,000 points again, so yeah, I didn't play all the games this week, but uh, I just had some fun this week, just using Gerardo as a cam, just seeing how it goes from there, but yeah, Chucky Lozano was great, I have to admit, this headline, this card was just absolutely scintillating, and his I can only imagine what his team of the season is going to be, probably going to hit around 90, just with better shooting, better physicality. So um, he's one card I am definitely looking at, and Fujira dropping um into the CDM is probably going to mean that Pogba does come back into our team, um which I'm happy at. See, I like Pogba. Pogba, yeah, of course he's big, but because he's got the five star skills and because he's got the great, like amazing dribbling. He's alright, you know what I mean? The attack doesn't feel sluggish, but with Gerard, just those freestyle skills for me, I can't use a cam with freestyle skills. I do use my skills a lot. So that's how I do generate play. So we will see. We will see in the next episode. You will see um what changes I've done. But now you're gonna be witnessing the packs that I did open through um 18 packs, and we're gonna do some more upgrade packs as well. So around 28 packs, I'm pretty sure. I calculated that we are going to do through, uh, we had, um, what did we have? We had Rivals Rewards, we had Foot Chance Rewards, and we had a bit of Squad Battle Rewards mixed in here. So you're going to see, we do get some good luck, finally. I haven't packed something good in, in a long, long time, but um, Team of the Season looks like it's my time. It's my time. I uh, you're going to see, we're going to get some good, good packs here. We are going to pack a couple of blues. But currently the packs aren't the best, but we're going to just get through the trash ones for now. Um, but yeah, what I am looking for in terms of team of the season cards, I am wanting a team of the season left back. Definitely, definitely going to be looking for a left back. And then I'm going to be looking for a cam and a right wing. Other than that, i got my CDMs down pack. I've got my center backs down pack. Um, and maybe a goalkeeper. Yes, definitely a goalkeeper team of the season. And then, um, that's about it. My left wing is all done. My strike is in Ibra. Other than getting team of the season in Ibra, I don't want to get any other team of the seasons. Um, so, yeah, he's done. Then I'm going to have Gerard and Makalele. So, my midfield's done. I've got Danny Alves flashback, which is just amazing. So, that's done. So, yeah, just left back, a camp, and uh, right wing and striker are the team of the seasons that I want to um, bring in. 
uh, to the team. But as you can see, for now the packs are trash. We aren't getting any balls, no walkouts, nothing. But my luck does change once I get into the better packs. But yeah, once again, finally we get a board. I'm going to be picking up um, Toy Van. Which is alright, 84 rated, but nothing too special there. But, you know, he'll sell for around 4k. Now we're going to get into the 20k packs, rare gold packs. You always get rare gold packs for finishing first in full draft. And I still don't get how you can get these packs for, for winning four games of full draft. It was probably more sweaty than the weekend league. So ask me, but, yeah, it's just a bit retarded when it comes to these things. So, anyway, we're going to get an info. We're going to get a center back. Pedro Mendez, who will be put into a SBC most likely, but I will keep him. Um, no point really selling a discard. You can just use him for a SBC, and then you're going to see again no board. So, you know, um, currently it's a bit iffy, but you will see we will start packing some good guys. Um, and we do pack a killer team of the season, which... You are going to realize it brings us some predicaments in another position that we do have. And the predicament of do we drop a player that we haven't played for so long. And you're going to see, bang, our first team of the season, Mr. Henderson from Sheffield, 84 rated. Cannot complain. That is my first team of the season. And I am going to keep him. He is untradeable, but I will keep him for a... Guarantee team the season packs when they do come out for the Premier League. Then we're going to get back to back walkouts with Thomas Muller. So, yeah, now we're getting the packs. The packs is, are coming. Finally, they are coming. The 50k packs were paying out big, and I wish I had some more because my mate was opening them with me and he was packing some good players as well. So, maybe the 50k packs, if they're out in the store and you're thinking about getting some packs, maybe open those 50k packs. Because for me, you saw two walkouts and a team of the season. And my mate also packed his first team of the season through that. So then we've got the Mega Packs. And the Mega Packs, sometimes you hit players good, sometimes you don't. Um, they're really, really inconsistent. You know, like last year, I remember I packed Pogba. First week of squad battles. And sold him for like 500k the first week um, into FIFA. So, you know... Um, Mega packs do have a close spot to my heart because of that, but you know, once again, they are very inconsistent. And I did pack in for Mertens though through them, so you know, very very inconsistent. As you can see, we're going to get another board. It is going to be Nacho Fernandez. The absolute, I hate packing him. Like, why can you not just give me? It's like halfway to a Ramos. Why can you not give me Ramos? But also, we're going to see weekly objectives, and there's a team of season Rodri, which is six wins, which I don't ain't going to happen. But team of the season on Nana, which we will do. We will get this team of the season on Nana. And um, 88 rated, going to go into an SBC as well. I'm going to be trying to do as many of those team of the season cards as possible to help me with. Um, with uh, SPCs, obviously, but yeah, now we're going to get to another 10 upgrade packs, and you're going to see these packs paid out, bang, the first one, look at this, look at this, team of the season, one Bissaka, with our first upgrade pack, jeez, man, look at this card, 94 pace, 89 defending, silver this is what I mean. This is the predicament that this card has put me in. Is it finally after like 700 games with Danny Alves? Do we drop him for Wan Bissaka? Wan Bissaka is a 180k player on the market. I'm going to have to use him. I will use him next weekend. 100%. I will have to try him out. Is it time for Danny Alves to finally retire? After 700 games and for one Bissaka to play, who knows? But that card does look saucy. So, yeah, that is our first major team of the season pool. That is such a good, good card. And um, yeah, as you can see, these upgrade packs are going to be paying out. We're going to get an 85 cover hole as well. You know, like, balling. If you got just some spares, spare gold players, rinse them through. Because you saw, I did get a team of the season from my first one. You never know. We're going to get Robertson again. Also, just... A good card for an SBC. Um, but yeah, I was like, 
What are these packs? I think you're going to see. Bang, another walkout. Look at this, man. 86 Naldo. These are the packs. Boys. Cheaches. This is what I mean. The two rare gold player packs. Are the packs to be alright? We didn't get anything from there, but we've gotten two walkouts. We've got an, a major, major team of the season. Just, you know, if you got random goals, just rinse them through. You never know. Um, you just, it's got to be luck sometimes. And today, my luck was really on with these packs. Um, that's for sure. We're getting one Basaka, which is which is so good, but it's just so bad. Like, do I finally get rid of Danny Alves? Um, but for one weekend league, it will be. I will definitely be using him and telling you my opinion on him. And if you guys are looking to getting him, um, if he is good. But yeah, this is the team currently that we are using him in. And um, we are gonna open one more 100k pack, which we got from the weekly objectives, which finally they fixed and they finally gave us it. But yeah, you're gonna see it after all that. After all the glitching, after us not receiving it, you would think they would at least just script every pack to have a walkout. But we get Falcao after all. Oh, sorry, guys. After doing all those objectives, that's it. That is the pack we get. But anyway, guys, this is it. This is one week's worth of FIFA into one video. Team of the Seasons pack. A bit of champs played, but servers dropping out and unlocking Steven Gerrard. So that that is right, guys. The Steven Gerrard Road Glory is back. If you did like it, make sure you do drop a like, a favor, a subscribe, share it to your mates. And as always, guys, remember, relax, have a euros, and I will be back shortly.